Yo, um, Phil, what's going on, bro? How's it going, man? How can I help you? Uh, so I'm I'm a I'm in college for engineering right now, and I want some financial advice because entry level, I'm only supposed to be making like fifty to eighty k a year. And that's not really cut it, bro. In what engineering? Uh, electrical. Can you just start it? Nah, so I'm in, uh, in my last year of college, bro. Uh, can you turn your volume down a little bit? I don't know why your volume is like ex excessively high. Oh, my it's all good. It's all good. Just just turn it down a little bit. Um, you say you in your what year? I'm in my last year. I graduate in December. So you so you're in your last semester. You graduated in a couple months. Yeah, bro. Okay. Um, so yeah, you got you got to finish that degree. The electrical engineering degree is gonna give you some some breathing room, right? And they may that's that may not be what you need to do in the future, but if you want to start making more money right now, you got to figure out how you can learn some really marketable skills. Engineering, yeah. engine. Listen, I got an engineering degree myself, but engineering in itself is not gonna make you a millionaire. What exactly do you want financially? I just want financial freedom, to be honest, bro. Okay, so what you're gonna use, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that degree as a stepping stone. That degree, you're gonna graduate, try to get a decent job, all right? Where maybe it's not excessively time consuming. So you can start working on things on the side that can make you more money. You need, still need a job. Yeah. All do right? you do e-commerce? Do I do e-commerce? Yeah. I don't do e-commerce, but I understand what e-commerce is. Do you, do you recommend like doing it on the side? E-commerce is not easy. Listen, nothing about business making money online is easy. If you, but hey, you got an engineering degree. You're going to get it. I, I have faith in you that you have the work ethic to make it work. Just understand that it is going to take a lot of work. E-commerce, you need a lot of capital. Yeah. Right? Are you going to have that cap capital? No, nah, bro. Not, not right out of college. Okay. So that's where the job comes in. 50 to 60 is going to be tough. What city do you, what city do you plan on living in? Uh, like Miami. I mean, I'm in Florida right now, so I go to UCF, Orlando. So are you going to plan on moving? Where do you plan on working? Like, where do you think you're going to get a job? Is it, it might not be in Florida. Nah, I'll go, uh, I'll go live with my parents probably. Like, just use some money. Like, stay low-key. And uh, my parents are in Atlanta right now. Atlanta? Yeah, so probably in, like, Atlanta. Okay, but... Mac, what I'm saying is you don't even know where you're going to get a job at. Oh, no, I did an intern there last summer. Oh, so you, that's where you're going to work at? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So with 50 to 60K, that's going to be your base income. That's not a lot of money at all. You, yeah. What you need to start doing is you need to start learning some shit right now that's going to make you some more money. E-commerce. It can be e-commerce. E it can be whatever. It can be sales. It can be marketing. Whatever you feel like you can give three to five years of hard work to make work because that engineering degree took how, how long? Like five years, bro. Yeah, you go. So you got to put that same level of effort in whatever business business venue you, you want to get into. It's not going to be easy. You're going to lose a lot of money. It's going to be very stressful. You're going to have to work every day. Are you ready for that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm getting good grades in college, but... I mean, obviously, college is different from the real world. Exactly. And in the real world, you're not judged on a test. You're judged on your results, like in total. You can lose everything. Yeah, for sure. So be mindful that business is not going to be easy. But if you're willing to dedicate time and energy. So what you can do is this. As you're working this degree, right, you can live below your means, stack up 20, 30 percent of your income every month. Mm -hmm. Right. And you're just putting that away while you're learning e-commerce, like trying to get really, really good at it, stacking some bread up. You can stack some bread up for like six months. Yeah. Right. To be able to open up your first your first shop or you launch your first product. But I would suggest when it comes to e-commerce. Like in all sincerity, what I would tell you to do. This is what I would do if I was in your position with what I understand about e-commerce. And I know a lot of people make a fuck ton of money in e-commerce. I would stack some bread up for about a year. I will work this job for a year. I, I will be putting away 20, 30 percent of my income, trying to stay below, trying to live below my means. And after that year, I will put the money I've stacked up 
I will put it into a mentorship to help me with my first product while I was also studying to get as good as possible before that. Mm -hmm. But the thing about a mentorship is you don't want to fuck up. E-commerce is so tough that if you fuck up with your first store or if you don't do it right or if you're not prepared, all the money you save could be could, could evaporate. And yes. that shit's gone. Mm -hmm. All right. So you got to make sure you you pick the right people that can help you. Right. While learning as much as possible in that year, it will take you a year, but you you can be ready in a year. Mm. So you uh, reckon, like investing in some stocks and stuff. Fuck no. Stuff? Fuck no. Hell no, bro. Nah. Invest in you don't in. Here's why. Here's why that's not a smart idea. Everybody tells you invest uh, invest in passive income. First of all, stocks are not as passive as you think. You got to have some kind of understanding of them. Even though you might not have to do much, you need every bit of money to put into um, your own future before you can invest into the stock market. Alex Hamozi calls it invest in the S and five hundred. Fuck the S and P five hundred. Invest in you the skills that you need to make more money right now and once you're at the level where you're making money you can start to put passive income like you can start to put some of your disposable income into stocks and shit like that not now you can do it later but not now yeah all right sure. okay, I I get some, uh looks maximum advice real quick, <laughs> right, real quick. You, got, you got some pants on yeah yeah all right let's see all right your body's lean not bad. You can be a little bit muscular though. So you got like a swimmer's body right now, but you can be a little bit muscular to make your make your body look good. Let me take the hat off. Take the hat off. All right. I think you need a cut, bro. Nah, the hair looks good, but don't cut the hair. Uh, for real? You think I should grow it out or get like a, a like a fade or something? Nah, I think you should grow it out. All right. Yeah. Your, your jawline looks good. You don't necessarily need a beard. Uh, you like you got like hazel eyes or something? Yeah, I got like a uh, olive color or something. Yeah, okay. So your face is good, bro. Let me see your teeth. And I bet you got a handsome face. Look like you got some acne a little bit. You yeah, but, but I'm on. Uh, I do skincare right now. Okay. So yeah, get your body. Your body can develop, and you can look a lot better. Your hair is decent. Don't cut it. Um, and yeah, man, let's get to work. Yeah. So um, for your workout. Yeah. Stuff, on like a push pull legs right now, bro. Is that good? Yeah, that's not bad. I gotta go to Mac. I gotta go. I, gotta <laughs> Thank go. You, bro. I appreciate it. All right, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, bro.